Can you sell services on Shopify? Perhaps many people just know that Shopify is a product-based e-commerce platform which can help a person sell physical products on the internet by building an online store. But some of you may want to ask, what if my business is teaching yoga courses or home service like house cleaning or pet caring or even consultancy? Am I able to build a website for that on Shopify? The answer is definitely yes. And how are you gonna do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a service store on Shopify from scratch. If you want to try the Shopify 14-day free trial to build a demo store, you can click on the link in the description box below. So now, let's get started. Here is the Shopify main dashboard after you signing up for the free trial. Fill in some basic information, enter your store name, etc. And my service store is a dog training and caring center called Dog Jojo, as you can see here. We have a brief tutorial on how to start the Shopify trial to build an online store. You can check out the link in the description box below or at the end of this video if you want. Okay, so now the first step is to add your service as a product on Shopify. Think of your service as an intangible product. You can just add it normally on Shopify. You click on products, then add product, and you put in the title and description since you're selling service a detailed description is important because people want to know the value of your service what you can give customers the benefits during using your service and the expected outcome as well people will care about that i already prepared the descriptions here so i'm gonna just copy and paste it now you can add the image here Set the price. For the inventory part, if you want to limit the number of appointment booking, for example, you can set the number. And for the shipping here, make sure you uncheck this box. This is a physical product Be because you are now selling service, so you don't need that. The variance part here is important. You need to show customers that you provide a wide range of service and give them flexibility so you can add more variants for them to choose. As you can see here in my description, I have three types of training courses. So I'm going to add the variance for the courses. And you can set the different prices for different courses here. After that, click save. And now you can see we have our service added on Shopify. You can check the live view here. And continue adding more of service you have if you have more all right i've finished created three services here of my store now let's move to the next step as i said earlier in the step one customers will like a flexible service with custom requests and booking date so one of the solution is to use a third-party app to add more custom fields in the product page to help customers fill in their requests. I chose the product personalizer app here because they give you a 15-day free trial and also pretty easy to use. And you can find it in the Shopify app store and then click on add app. And with just a couple of steps, it will show up in your Shopify admin panel, the apps section here. 
Now, click on the app. You see here, this is the installation general setting. The automatic install here will update everything you set up with the apps when you build your store with a theme. Debut is the default theme here in Shopify. Since I haven't chosen a theme yet, I will still click on install first and then it will automatically update the new theme after I choose a different theme when building my store later. Now let's click on products. Then choose the product you added before and click on configure. Now you can see this is the board where you can add some custom fields for your product. You can change the label. Custom requests for example. The default value is the text inside the field which tells the customers that what information they need to fill in the box. So I will write Tell us your request if your dog needs anything, for example. And you can set the number of line, font, line, height, width, choose character type like date or choose number, etc. And down here, you can personalize your field like add images or add a preview button so that when customers fill in their requests, if they want to preview how the request will look like, they can see in the product page. Now I'm going to finish adding the field I want for my service. Done. As you can see, I have three fields here custom request, email, and date. Now, we will see the live view of the product page if there is anything new showed up. Great, now customers can add their request here and enter email and then choose the date they want to book your service. Okay, let's move to the next step. It's time to build your homepage, which is the land for your marketing strategy. You need to build a compelling homepage that tells visitors about your service, the value you bring to the customers, and why they should choose your service. So now, I'm going to choose a theme first. I'm going to choose the narrative theme here with the style. If you want to know more about which theme is suitable for a service store, you can read a blog with the link in the description box below. Now, let's customize my homepage. Here we are in the Shopify editor board. You need to understand the sections here to edit your homepage. So I'm going to run through each section. The header is where you can add your logo, edit menu on the menu bar, and the slideshow here is where you can add big and beautiful hero images and captivating headings and add a button that links to other pages to let people know more about your business. The image with text here is where you can add more content, tell visitors about your store, what your service is all about, and you can add buttons if you want. Next, the video section. You can add stunning videos about your service by inserting YouTube or Vimeo links. Rich text is to talk about your brand. And then the gallery part is where you can add beautiful images with text overlay and you can also link to product pages if you want. Following up is the feature slider where you can tell visitors some special things about your service or benefits when customers use your service, for example. Next, the featured product section, you can choose to hide it if you want, but you can add your main service here as well. If you want customers book your service right in front of the homepage. Next, also uh, is the talk about your brand part. 
and you can add more sections if you want the footer is also where you can edit menu and have sign up for newsletters part like this okay so now i'm gonna edit my home page As you can see, I almost finished the homepage here, but I still need something important for a service store, which is the testimonials. Why? Because this part will help you build trust in your customer's mind. If they find good reviews, for example, they might decide to book service, right? So I'm going to click on add section, choose testimonials, then add testimonial. Some of the theme on Shopify will not have this testimonial section. So if you want to customize this part, you can use third-party review apps like Looks, Yarpo, Judged Me, or Alley Reviews, etc. to set up. Now, I'm going to save and publish the page. Let's check the live view here. It looks good, right? And you can click on CDA buttons to see where they will go to. Check the product page as well. Okay, great. Now, let's create an About Us page. Having an attractive About Us page is good for your service store. Why? Because it can help visitors learn more about your service, your mission, and value. And even introducing your team would be great if you have it in your About Us page. So to do that, you click on pages, then click on add page. Now add the page title and then create a page. I already prepared the about us page here. I will copy it. It will be like writing a blog. But if you want to have advanced modification, you need to use a page builder apps like page five, for example, to customize the page if you want it to be more responsive. Now save it. And you can see the live view here. Great. Now, let's move to the final step. It is important to check your store live view but on mobile version because many people will book your service directly from their smartphones. So, you can check the mobile versions here. Click on Customize. Then choose Device here. And you can use mobile friendly tests from Google as well. Paste your website URL to check if it's mobile friendly or not. So that's it. So those are fundamental steps on how to build a service store on Shopify. I hope you find it helpful and you can subscribe to our PageFly channel. Click on the bell icon for notifications of our latest PageFly tutorials and Shopify related videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.